Hi guys, I picked up some goodies at the TELUS Volunteer Surplus Store recently. Got a very nice Lakewood uh, model P223 fan. I've seen these uh, in a lot of videos on YouTube, people really seem to like them. Looks absolutely immaculate, there's no dust on anything. It's absolutely clean, no scratches. Grills haven't been uh, yellowed yet. I also got this, some sort of a vacuum cleaner or a suction uh, and blower device. It's a uh, powered by an induction motor. Runs at uh, 3450 RPM, so it's quite quiet. Right, let's see the blade in there. On it, it says, uh, what does this say? Wind jammer made by Amatec Lamb. 115 volts, 1 1.5 amps, 3450 RPM, made in Kent, Ohio. And I also got this uh, power supply out of some uh, HP or DEC, no, DEC uh, computer, I guess. There's parts on it. I'm going to take a more of a look at this fan, see what it, how it's built inside. This fan is much smaller than a typical vacuum cleaner motor. And it runs much slower, so it's much quieter. I'll give you a demonstration. Suction is on the top here. It's not all that much, but pretty good. The discharge is. Uh, on this side, comes out right here. I notice if you plug up the discharge, the air comes out through the motor. So some of the air is used for cooling. It doesn't seem to be designed for a blower, mainly for suction, based on that. I'll take it, uh, see if I can open it up and see what the blades are like in this. Okay, the top casing seems to be coming off if I just bang, bang on it with a screwdriver and a hammer. Let's see how that goes. Here we go, I got the top off. Let's see if we can... Oh, let me just get this up here. Now that is a really big vacuum cleaner fan compared to this one. <laughs> Wondering what this thing was originally for. Uh, I noticed the uh, tubes that were connected to the output when I got it were very greasy, but the fan itself doesn't appear to be greasy at all. That's a bit puzzling. Um, let's see. On the side is a panel here with some numbers on it. Description 1954 1 blower. VCR, someone's written on it. Yeah, here it is. Uh, I forgot to say this earlier, model number is 115540. Yeah, looking at how this thing is constructed, it looks like it has five stages. There's one at the top I took off, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Because if you look down the uh, discharge tube over here, you can see the underside of the blade rotating. So probably the blade must be down here, the last stage must be down here somewhere. And let's give this thing a try. kind of scary thinking how much energy is in this thing. If it were to explode, it would send uh, debris flying everywhere at high speed. And the air is all coming out from the blade and going around down the outside, channeling around. And it takes a while to coast down, too. The bearing sound a bit bad. I'll have to check them in grease them or oil them probably. I guess I'll have to take off the center nut and start pounding off the rest of the casings one by one. Here comes off the first blade. Nut washer. Nice big probably half inch shaft there. 
pretty big hub, about an inch and a quarter or so. Oh, a nice pattern from the dust in the back of that too. I'm numbering everything as it comes off so it goes on in the same order. Put that there, there, and let's continue the spacer comes out. There's the next blade. Looks similar. I'll continue with this. I noticed the second blade over here it doesn't look uh, the same as the first. There's these notches cut out, which I guess are for balancing. So I guess I might have to uh, play around with the orientation of this blade when I put it on, when I put it on to get the best balance, because I don't know uh, the orientation of all these blades. It would be imposs basically impossible to keep it anywhere all all the way down the whole stack. So we'll see how that goes when I put it back together. Here's the last blade coming off, and that just empties out into the bottom piece, and the air exits through the hole, and also possibly through the motor. Yeah, the bearings definitely do need to be at least cleaned and lubricated, maybe replaced. Let's see if we can see what type of bearings this has. Oh, just looks like regular ball races. See if I can clean them out and put some new oil in. Let's give this a shot when running well, without the fans. Yeah, those bearings definitely do sound noisy. Pretty powerful motor. Yeah, even that takes quite a while to spin down, even with no load. Here's the motor, if I'm going to go to the parts. Uh, rotor with two bearings, same size on each side. The front one up here seems to be shot, it's rather noisy. The back one feels better, although it probably could do with lubrication. There's the induction motor, capacitor uh, start and run. I'll see if I can uh, lubricate this bearing and see if it's any better. I've re-greased the bearings and it's ready to be, the motor is ready to be reassembled. Start. I believe this went in this way. Okay, let's give this a try now that the bearings have been re-greased. Well, that sounds a bit bad still. I can see the uh, outside ce the ceiling ring is spinning. Did I put too much grease in? Here's a test run of the motor with all the fan blades on. I was just blowing them off with the air compressor to get them all clean before putting it back together. Bearings still sound a bit bad, I guess they need to be replaced. Anyway, I'll reassemble the fan now. Putting these stages back together is quite simple. You just put the fan blade on, put the uh, thing back in place, and then line it up right. And then pound it in, put a block on it, and pound it in with a hammer. Okay, it's all assembled now. Let's give it a test run, see how it runs. That's working 
very well. Seems to be blowing much more air than it was uh, before. Hmm. Also, I had to pound out the uh, top uh, plate on this. This thing was someone had dropped it on the inlet port here and it bent it down and it was restricting airflow. It's all better now. Anyway, thanks for watching.